So I'm here for um, uh, an event at Oris. Now I've come early because I thought to myself, um, if I'm if I time it right, um, uh, uh, they'll be getting ready, so there won't be anyone there. And I thought I could uh, do a video um, of the of the pieces inside the shop, but also um, a, you know a look and feel for what the, the shop looks like. Anyway, um, that should be okay. And uh, so uh, um, let me go inside. So straight away, um, the Oris fans out there uh, might recognise uh, Kermit. Uh, look at that. Uh, I do like uh, uh, what Oris have done here. If I just stand back, I just want to capture the, you know, the look and feeling of this place, but it is lovely. Now, you know, straight away, you know, I, I can see that someone's thought about, uh, you know, this window. And look at that. Uh, I love the, the playful uh, frog in the window. And of course, you'll know I like frogs because of the frogman. Anyway, um, look at this window. Uh, I, because these things are important. Ah, this is their, um, their new piece. Uh, but I'll come back to that in a moment. So of course, they've got uh, a few pieces here on display. And of, and of course, we have the, uh, the green frog there. Look at that. And we have Mr. Frog standing there. That is so cool. And uh, you know that's really nice uh, attention to detail. Uh, look at that. Actually, I'm going to take a photo of that. It's so cool. There we go. Now, hopefully, I've got uh, a photo of that. Uh, anyway, I, I will come later and get it. But uh, once again, I, I wanted to show you uh, the entrance. Okay, so. I'm going to go inside because uh, I know that it's uh, the doors open for me and uh, and, and we're empty. Yeah. Uh, hello, You're welcome, Th thank you. Uh, <laughs> and um, so look at the entrance here. How look at that! It is delightful, and uh, I, I, I love Oris on the wall there. Um, but why don't I go? Actually, this is the um, the, uh, the display I've just shown you. But um, the first display on my uh, right here is the, the pointer date models and uh, look at those don't they look good now um, uh, the reflection might uh, be there but if I if I remember to get my angles right you you, you shouldn't see me uh, they do look very very good and what I will do is uh, I, I will just move the camera around um, and that should so you should be able to see these pieces. Now the point of date, of course, it's the, the date is displayed around the circumference and there's a pointer to it. And uh, you know, what I do like about uh, these, um, straight away, um, you, you can tell that, that they are an Oris. Um, I, I'm starting to feel that Oris signature uh, in the design. It's very, very nice. I love the way it's, it's just there in that cabinet. But my... Um, uh, <laughs> my uh, attention is drawn uh, to, to this new piece here. Now that is lovely. Now if I say something wrong, um, uh, these, uh, these guys will, will gr grab me and, uh, and, and bash me and correct me. Um, but uh, So if you do hear me say something incorrect, please do just interject and tell me. Okay, um, look at that. And once again, look at the presentation. It is lovely. Okay, so over here we have uh, we have a display cabinet there, and uh, uh, are these the? Actually, I'm going to I'm going to flick over to this cabinet here because we've got the Oris Aquis here, and uh, I know this is a um, a very popular model, and um, so many times I've heard people talk about their Aquis, um, or they make reference to it. Um, you know, it's, it's a lovely. Uh, uh, a diving style of watch. Um, I think it's diving style. Um, look at that. But these days, I find that um, uh, I, I, mean, I myself um, I, I wear watches for um, all occasions. And um, in other previous videos, I've explained that I am. Um, uh, you know, I, I wear them for all occasions. I wear them to cook in, I wear them to go out in, uh, I wear them just to look cool, uh, with t-shirts, uh, with uh, jeans. Oh, look at that. Now, I imagine that that's going to appeal um, to all sorts of people, um, because even I would wear that. I know it's pink, 
but I would definitely wear that. Uh, I imagine in the summer um, with a pair of shorts with um, some pink flashes and pink detail on, uh, that's when you'd, you'd rock that. And of course we've got the, the, the pink and um, uh, gold tone there. Now I don't know if that's brass or, or a tone, but you know it looks fabulous. Look at those. And um, why don't I swing round? Oh, look at this. We have um, a very good coffee machine. Okay, so these guys can enter the G-Shock Club straight away, just for that that machine. Okay, and then we have Kermit once again, and uh, we have this uh, a bit of detail on the wall. Look at that. It's uh, now we've got the bear. Now I knew he would be somewhere, and there he is, the Oris Bear. What a great, what a good thing to have, and. This cabinet is the, uh, I'm, a ma I, I'm a, assuming this is the special cabinet. Um, so they've got some very desirable collector's pieces in here. Look at that. Now, uh, all his fans are going to recognize these models straight away. Uh, now, these big um, diving style pieces, I, I, I feel drawn to those straight away. They're very nice. And of course this chronograph here. Look at that. Yeah, these are super. These are really, really super. And uh, once again, we've got the, the bear. And uh, I'm trying to avoid people as well. So uh, I'll come back into, uh, into the main room. And uh, so what do you think? How super, hey? Um, I was trying to get Oris with um, empty, but it's almost impossible. Uh, people walking all the time. But uh, yeah, and uh, there you go. What a super place. I really like Oris. Anyway, I will say ciao for now, and uh, hopefully I will get some more. Actually, I just got chance to uh, get the, uh, the Oris on the wall there. Look at that. Uh, so I've just been able to get um, um, uh, get get my camera in front of the pro pilot, and uh, uh, I do like these. Uh, um, I, I love large watches. Uh, these aren't that large, but they are uh, one or two of them are a little larger. Um, but it, it, they really appeal to me. Now this one is. Um, uh, I think it has a seven day power reserve. So I know that the, the mechanical um, um, features of this piece and the movement's going to be fantastic. They are they're really super. Look at that. Yeah. And I love the, the large day and date on this piece. That is great. And I do, f I, I forget the, uh, uh, the name of this one, but this is a very uh, special looking piece. And I love the, the, the way the dial uh, the, the 3D nature of the dial. It's lovely. Yeah. Anyway, I've, uh, I've just managed to grab, uh, uh, well, uh, video this case. There you go. So guys, very quickly, I'm, uh, I wanted to show you, uh, Oris uh, very kindly uh, brought, uh, brought over a coffee. And uh, I was so impressed because, um, uh, as you know, I really like coffee. So. Um, Oris are straight into the club of all the clubs and uh, uh, I, I just love this hospitality. But there you go. Anyway, the watches are coming. So what a treat we've got here. Now I'm equipped with, um, uh, and the, the lady at Oris has, has just been explaining to me where they get the beans from. And uh, I did show you the, the bean machine earlier and I can tell you that is lovely. But I've been so lucky um, to, uh, uh, to put in my hand uh, these Oris pieces. Now this is uh, their new, uh, what's the model number of this one? And that uh, is called the Big Crown Pointed Day Father Time Limited Edition. Uh, um, it, it, it's the, the Big Crown uh, range, but Pointed Date. And the case material is it's bronze. bronze. Mm -hmm. and, the D, and the strap is actually in collaboration with this Swiss um, company called Savo Volante. So yes. It's sustainable deer leather, so when you feel it's soft. Yeah, no, 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 it, it's lovely. The, the, the quality um, of, the, uh, of the leather is wonderful there. Um, um, one moment, I'm just going to switch on my other microphone because I thought you sounded so good there. Um, in case you, uh, 
I'm just gonna put the, uh, it, it'll be fine uh, uh, just there. So, um, but you can tell the, um, in the hand, uh, this leather does feel premium. Um, and um, uh, the bronze case, I know that many people are going to love uh, because the bronze has a very attractive color. And I've said many times um, uh, uh, that the bronze and uh, the gold tones that are similar to bronze you know, are, are a very pleasing aesthetic, but they contrast so lovely with the dial here. And I, I, I know that the big crown is, um, you know, is a crowd pleaser for Oris, and I do, I do like it. But I myself, I love big crowns because it enables you to um, take purchase of, of the crown so you can set the time and the, the date. But that is lovely. But um, I wanted to show you uh, one of Oris's new releases, but I also wanted to show you watches that I like myself. Now, um, this watch, um, when did this watch come out? Uh, because it's... Um, um, it, it's a year, two years ago, I think. Um, but, it, uh, so my camera uh, got stuck then. But this has the um, uh, seven day power reserve. Now, um, people in the watch world uh, will know that yeah, achieving a, a mechanical movement um, with seven days, but this actually might even be 10 days. Oh, yeah. it, it, it's gonna, 10 days, yes. Have, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, uh, so uh, guys, you are looking at um, uh, a 10 day power reserve movement. That is not easy to achieve. Uh, the, uh, the engineering that goes into the manufacture of these uh, manual wine pieces is amazing. And here it is, uh, just rocking inside an Oris with a fabulous um, uh, case back. But I've seen this watch before and I, every time I've looked at it, I've thought, I, I love it. Because I like the slightly larger uh, date complication also. And uh, we have the, um, I'm assuming that's the running seconds there. Of course, the hour hand and uh, minute hand. Uh, and of course the, the power reserve indicator. I love a power reserve indicator on the dial. That is super. Now I have tried on this watch before and uh, so I know I like it. But look at that. That's a very, um, it's a very desirable, very smart looking uh, piece actually. And it does have that Oris aesthetic. And once again, you know, when I meet brands, I, I always look for as something that might be their DNA of design. And uh, you can see here that this, um, it, you know, it's got that always feel to it. I, I love it. And, uh, and a very nice crown once again. And uh, I'm a little bit of a geek, so, you know, I, I like large crowns, or I like crowns that have a good purchase on them so that you can set them. It, it, this is very, very nice. But this is a lovely, lovely watch. And, uh, and I love the buckle also. I love push button deployment buckles like this. And it does have that um, quality feel that, that, that's very reassuring. That's very, very nice. Uh, this is a, a super piece. And uh, the 10 day power reserve, I mean, I'd love to know a little bit more about that actually. But look at that. And of course, this. Now, oh, uh, well, what's the name of this piece? It's a ProPilot altimeter, so it's to measure altitude. Yeah, mm -hmm. ProPilot altimeter. Look at this. And the reason that I wanted to, to um, uh, get this in, to my, in my hand is because the dial instantly made me, uh, and the, the 3D aspect of it is so delightful. And uh, the, 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 the uh, the sapphire crystal, I don't know what they've done there, but you literally fall in, um, you fall in onto the dial and you see the, the texture and the depth of the, of the complication parts. Look at that. Now, uh, the case looks to me that it's, uh, is it carbon fiber? Carbon, yes, that's correct. Yeah, so uh, I, I bet you that's forged carbon, mm -hmm. which means um, the tensile properties are going to be brilliant. It feels amazing and looks fabulous. That is such a cool watch. And that definitely screams of Oris. That has Oris design all over it. And yeah, let's have a look at the buckle. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that is super. Yeah, that is very, very nice. 
you can see that Oris are, um, they've put a lot of design into every aspect of the watch. The, the, this strap looks and feels like it's designed. Um, that's going to, uh, it looks a very sophisticated exotic, exotic material and it has a leather um, uh, a part here. But look at that. I think it has a very, um, uh, the word isn't modern, but it has this technical, uh, sporty aesthetic that I can imagine people really liking this. Look at that. And I love the, uh, the double crown aesthetic there. And once again, the reason I picked this up is because it, I, I thought it looked so interesting in the cabinet. Look at that. That is super. Once again, I do apologize. I don't always know um, uh, the, the history or all the technical details of the watches. But what I try to do is get the watches on camera because I know that people really like to see the, the, the piece on camera. And in fact, a little while ago, I was chatting to a brand and uh, they, uh, they were showing me uh, one of their uh, very complicated watches. And halfway through, I said, I actually don't mind fully understanding all the complications because I viewed all the, all the complications as something that you would retrospectively find out about. If you own the watch, you could literally put it, you know, take it home, pull it out, or start to wear it, and then discover the complications. And I thought, I mean, I know I'm a little bit strange, but um, that was something so appealing to me. And I literally thought to myself, I would have this watch and, uh, and take it home and then discover the complications. Uh, that, that's part of the fun of owning the watch. Anyway, this is the, um, the Propilot um, uh, Altimeter. Altimeter. There we go. I, I, I come across so it many names. It can measure up to 6,000 meters. Wow. So you can find this watch in feet or in meters depending on the country. Right. And, uh, and uh, this one is in metric, I imagine, or in mm -hmm. meters, yeah. Yeah, that one is meters. Wow. I should, I should say meters, but we sell both of them, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I actually, um, because uh, we're on camera here, and um, uh, because I didn't want to mention the, the altimeter part of it without fully knowing about but I can see there's a red pointer here and a yellow pointer, and, uh, and they, they are displaying the... the um, uh, uh, the height. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you see, I, I, I have questions now um, about uh, how mechanically it, um, it determines the height. But, yeah, uh, um, I, I should come back. But what I wanted to do right now is capture how good looking this watch is and how interesting it is. Look at that. Okay, one moment. Guys, I very quickly um, went aside um, um, to uh, see if I could work out how to drive this. Now, um, I can tell you that, that uh, manipulating the crown here, um, uh, the, the, it has such a nice quality feel. I don't know if you can hear the mechanism as well. But, I, but what I understand is that this crown is used for calibrating um, your altitude. Uh, so I imagine one of the markers is um, uh, that you use to calibrate and the other marker um, marks the differential but then uh, uh, gives you an indication on the outside of the altitude that you are at. Now I, this one I think is in feet and uh, so you can see how interesting it is um, but uh, I love actuating the crown actually. It, um, it just feels so um, uh, technical. That is a really uh, super watch. I can imagine people finding this so intriguing. Uh, anyway, this is the, um, uh, the ProPilot um, altimeter and uh, you know without you even understanding how it works it just looks so good. Look at that. I would, I would wear that just like that and uh, because it looks so good. Look at that. Anyway, I'm going to say ciao for now, but I wanted to show you um, uh, at least um, some of Oris's watches because they are so cool. And uh, there you go, so fabulous. These are, uh, Oris is a, it's a lovely brand actually, and these watches are super. There we go. I, I think I'll end on that shot.